What's going on guys? Injury report and um, Robert Sala <laughs> speaking positively of Robbie Chosen Anderson. Oh my goodness, we're down bad. So no Dwayne Brown, no Billy Turner this week. I imagine it'll be Newman at right guard and Mitchell at right tackle. Again, that, that worked out better than Mitchell at um, right guard. Max Mitchell coming at, off of probably the best game of his career, pretty stout against Max Crosby. So that'll probably have to do for another week until Wes Schweitzer comes back, which should be in an, uh, another week um, or two. He's been working off to the side of practice. And uh, yeah, so uh, Chosen Anderson was waived by the um, released by the, the Miami Dolphins and the Jets beat reporter. I think it was Connor Hughes asked him about it. And Robert Sala said he brings, you know, a lot of juice. He's got a fastball that talking positively said, we're going to turn over every stone. And I think it's, it's depressing that I even like thought about it for a second. I think that kind of speaks to where this Jets receiver room depth is because I think chosen Anderson, the, the 2016 version of the, you know, the 95 yard pass from Sam Darnold after the mono game to the Cowboys, which feels like 10 years ago now. I don't think that player exists anymore. To be fair, the one catch he does have this year, he burned Patrick Sertan on a 70-yard touchdown from none other than Mike White. Um, but can he really do anything that Malik Taylor or, or Jason Brownlee can't do? I don't know. So if they, they throw in Chosen Anderson in there, uh, I'm not going to complain about it, but I, I don't think he really improves um, the team. As low as the bar is, he might be done as an NFL player. So we'll see you there, and uh, we'll talk all soon.